Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. My guest today is Kelly Lang, a singer, songwriter, artist who has just come out with a new album. Kelly, it's so great to see you again. Thank you, my dear. You look so adorable. I'm loving your braids. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you ready for the questions? Let's go. Hey, can you tell me about your new album, I Think It's Jesus? Well, I Think It's Jesus is a single from the upcoming album, and the album's name is Dragonfly. And the reason I named my album Dragonfly is because when I'm in my pool, I can hold my fingers up. Every time I do that, a dragonfly comes and lands on my fingers. And it's really special. It's kind of fun. So I just think they bring special messages of comfort and joy and they make me happy. And so I've decided to name my album that. And I have a song that I've written called Dragonfly that's going to be coming out with that. I think it's Jesus, though, is a song that I wrote about all of these coincidental things, like when you get chills on your arms or a lump in your throat, or maybe you see a red bird when you're thinking about somebody that's passed, or maybe a feather that's out of nowhere. All of these things seem to be connected in a way. And I wanted people to realize it wasn't just a coincidence. I think it's Jesus. So I think you'll enjoy the song. It's it's quite fun. Yeah, we will listen to it. How do you come up with ideas when you write songs? Well, that particular song came to me when I went to a Brooks and Dunn concert. And uh, I noticed that everybody was having the same lumps in their throat and chills on their arms. And they were crying when they heard him sing a certain song called I Believe. And it just got me thinking, you know, what what is that human thing that everybody has? And uh, I just was in my pool one day and birds were flying around me and just beautiful things happening. And I got really quiet. I feel like God just gave me that song. Sometimes that's how I feel like songs are written. They just kind of are inspired. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> This one's kind of a fun one, okay? okay? All of them are fun, but this one's kind of a little extra fun. I'm ready. Who is the most famous person in your cell phone, and when was the last time you talked to them? The most famous person in my cell phone is Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees or Marie Osmond. And uh, the last time I talked to Marie was a couple of months ago, but we text all the time. The last time I talked to Barry was last week, I think. And uh, I, I, I've got a fun phone. <laughs> we should share contacts, Demi. <laughs> this might be too much to ask, and you can say no. <laughs> but do you think that we could call one of them right now? Oh, I don't think so. Marie is okay. out of the country and Barry never answers his phone. But okay. we can look that up later, though. How about that? Okay. And if you could tell them, I tell both of them I want an interview with them. I will. I'll be happy to do that. They would probably enjoy that very much. I've interviewed Donny Osmond, Marie's brother. Oh, I know. I saw. Yeah. He's super Fun, but you know what? Marie would adore you. And Marie loves girly girly things. So she would think your hair was fantastic. I promise you. She would be all up in that. Do you have any fun plans for the summer? You know, we're just going to travel a little bit. TG and I, my husband, TG Shepherd and I, we're going to do some shows together this year. And I'm spending some a lot of time in my pool. And I'm spending a lot of time with some friends and my my mom. And uh, we're we're planning, my husband and I are actually doing a duet project too. So I'm in the studio a lot. I, I'm happiest in the studio. So that's going to be the way I spend the rest of the summer, I'm sure. That's cool. Where are you traveling to? Well, next week we're going to Texas. We're doing a concert in Bandera, Texas. And uh, let's see, we're going to go to Florida again. We just got back from Florida about a month ago. And I just like to spend a lot of time on the beach. How about you? I love the beach, too. We're going to Hawaii. The beach is my favorite thing ever. Oh, I agree. Besides interviews, actually, but and my family and everything like that. But still, the beach is one of my favorite things. Right. You like the beach? I mean, you like interviewing better than the beach? Well, kind of, because I get to meet awesome people like you. Oh, I love that. I understand. I love to work. I don't even think it's like work. I think it's just yeah. it's just a fun thing that we get to do. You're so talented at that, though. You know, it makes it easy, right? Yeah. <laughs>
You have done a lot over your lifetime and career. What is something you hope to accomplish in the next five years? Emmy, I love your questions. Let's see. I think it would be fun to sing in Europe. I would, I've, I've already sung in Switzerland before, but I would like to do some more touring extensively in Europe. I think it would be super fun, not only to see the sites that I want to see, but also, you know, make memories on the stages. I think that would be fun. Um, I would love to go to Europe too. That would be so fun. Have you ever been? No, I really want to go to like to Paris or somewhere like that. That would be really cool. Maybe we could go together. Do it. Let's do it. I, uh, I've i been to Paris. Uh, my husband and I ate dinner in the Eiffel Tower on our anniversary. It was super fun. You got to go. That's and, uh, so cool. You know what else we did? We went to London and uh, we got to go through Buckingham Palace. It was open. So we got to see where the queen did all of her throne queenship stuff. And it was so cool. They don't open it up very often, but we, we got the right time. It was wonderful. You need to go. Really cool. It was. It Can was. Can you share the most embarrassing moment you've had on stage? Well, other than I'm pretty clumsy and I fall a lot and I have broken so many heels that I've had go to go on stage barefoot. Uh, but one time I was on TV. No, it wasn't TV. It was a it was a, like a benefit concert thing I was doing. And my contact fell out because the lights dried them up. My contact fell out and it landed on the floor and I couldn't see anything. Oh. So you know what I did? I what? picked it up. I put it in my mouth. And then I put it back in my eye right before I had to start singing again. So that was quite shocking. That's not necessarily embarrassing because nobody really knew, but better than being blind. <laughs> Were you just like, girl, I can do it really quickly. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well, it's good <laughs> that no one really noticed, too. Yeah. Oh, one time on TV, I had a really bad cold. OK, I was doing local TV here in Nashville. And I had this microphone that had like, see your black foam on top of your microphone. Yeah, right here. Yeah. I was singing and I noticed that they did a close up on me, but my nose started to run. So you know what I did? <laughs> I just, just wiped it with the mic and went on. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. It was just dripping down my lip and somebody was going to see that, right? You were just like, yep, that's what I did. <laughs> wow. Free COVID, of course. <laughs> yeah. Did it, do you think anyone noticed? Or were you, <laughs> I like, hope not. Now I'm telling on myself. Now you're going to tell everybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> it's okay. It's in the past. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> What's Next up? time you get a cold, you can wipe your nose on that. It works great. <laughs> yeah. What's a piece of advice that might help me and our audience? Oh, honey, you know what? You're so far ahead of your game. You're far ahead of anybody in your age group. You're in your own lane. And you know what? That's what I would say. I would say we there's enough room for everybody in this business. Just stay in your own lane. Mind your own business. Be kind to everybody. And you know what? You will succeed because you have, not, you have no competition. You're amazing and you've got it going on. Don't feel like you have to compare yourself to anybody because you're a star in yourself. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for talking That's right. with me. I adore you. And I'm so grateful to have this time with you. You have fun in Hawaii. Okay. Okay. You have fun in Florida and Texas. I will. You are loved. And in your pool. You, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Bye, sweet baby. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.